Hello guys, Rob at one here, and today I am doing Konami Fix the Bandits on my channel for you guys. And for you guys who don't know what Konami Fix the Bandits is, Konami Fix the Bandits is a segment on my channel where I talk about cards um, that I think that should be semi-limited, uh, banned, unlimited, um, unbanned, so on and so forth with the ban list, and why, where, and my opinion of where I think they should be. Um, <clears throat> So today we're talking about another card that I predicted would come to two on the ban list. Um, but this is my reason for it, why I think it should come to three. Because the only reason I said it would come to two on the ban list is because I don't think Konami will put this card from straight from one back to three. Um, so this is my reasons. And the card we're talking about today is Ritual Beast Ulti Conahawk. So let's start off with the main reason why I think this card should come back to free. The cut, the Ritual Beast deck has been power creeped. Again, the Ritual Beast deck has been power creeped. In this format, I can see that Ritual Beasts are not a good enough deck to actually be able to win. Seeing as in this format we have cards like Solemn Strike, we have cards like Dark Destroyer, we have cards like uh twin twister we have cards like uh we have cards like magic specter kieran we have all these different kind of cards and just thinking that a ritual beast ulti corner heart should be on the ban list well the limited section of the ban list um is pretty stupid in my opinion because Ritual Beast, sure, when they came, around when they came out to the end of the Necros format, they were a really good deck. Like, they could, they had like a long time in, they had like a, they were a really good deck. And the only reason Khan Army really hit the card, in my opinion, was because the deck literally had like 30 minute turns sometimes. Or well, not really 30 minute turns, but like, I don't know, 8 minute turns at most sometimes, depending on how fast you played. Because you just kept going in and out of the deck. But now that in this format where we have cards like Solemn Strike, um, Monarchs to stop the extra deck, uh, Domain, um, all sorts of things like that. It, it makes no sense for um, Ritual Beast Ulti Conarch to actually be limited anymore. Because even if Ritual Beast Ulti Conarch came back to free... Um, even if it did come back to free, I wouldn't see it being an overly stupid card on the list. If you get what I mean. Because Ritual Beast Ulti Conarch, sure, it, search, it helps the deck search a lot. Like, in one turn you can get, like, plus... I think the max plus I've ever gotten with an Ulti Conarch when I played the deck was, like, plus... Five? I think. No, this was late game as well, so it wasn't even early game. And just just knowing that this deck is not as powerful as it used to be makes me think why would Auticorn Hawk be on the list? So and also with with decks like Pendulum and Cosmo and Monarchs and even the new decks coming out like Blue Eyes, uh, Blue Eyes, Metal Foes, um Oh, Blue Eyes Metal Foes, what else just came out of the new set? Um, uh, I can't really think of anything right now. But with all these really big decks, like the Blue Eyes deck, the Metal Foes deck, um, the Pendulum deck, uh, Pepe, um, Cosmo, uh, Blue Eyes, um, oh, I said Blue Eyes twice, uh, Monarchs. I just really, oh, Demise decks as well. I just really can't see Ritual Beast Ulti Conhawk needing to be a 2. And it coming to free won't really affect the meta. Sure, it'll make Ritual Beast players come back, but that can even be a good thing because it's a cheap deck, it's decent, it's probably around tier 2 in this format. And just being able to play a deck for fun like Ritual Beast, because Ritual Beasts were a fun deck in my opinion. Just being able to go through your deck really fast and make really big monsters, and then just being able to contact out, protect your stuff, it was a really fun deck to play. And I just really want to see 
ulti Konoha come back to free. But obviously it won't come back to free because Konami won't do that. But yeah guys, the reason I think Konami should fix the ban list to bring ulti Konoha back to free is because Car is because of it's been a completely power creeped. Ritual Beasts aren't broken anymore because of cards like Solemn Strike for one. If you Solemn Strike it, you get nothing. There's tons of different ways to stop the deck. And I just feel like this deck has been power creep to an extent where it's not worth being a, but being on the list. Like, the only reason they originally hit, like I said a minute ago, I believe, was because the deck had very long turns. So... Yeah, guys, um, tell me what you think of this video. Do you like Konami Fix the Ban List? Do you think I should do more Konami Fix the Ban List? Um, tell me all in the comment section below if you like the video. And as always, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe for more video videos. And tell me what you think about Ultikonohog being unlimited. Thanks for watching, guys.